Welcome back. All right, here we go. More Weird. Mega Man X. Yes, Maverick Hunter X. I am quickly growing to love this series. Fuck yeah. You make me so happy when you say those words. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still pretty awful at them, but they're, shoot, this particular one is freaking awesome to watch. Don't feel bad, because everybody says these games are way harder. I disagree. I think the original Mega Man games are actually a little harder. But these are regarded as some of the hardest games out there. And I kind of understand that. I mean, I doubt most people have put the amount of hours I have into these games. Even I, too, after playing these games for so long. I fucking hurt. Um, like, if I go and pick up, say, X3, one of them that I don't play that often, I will get my ass beat. I will just get, like, the most righteous of fucking ass beatings. <laughs> until I pick it back up and, like, get into my groove. There you go. So don't feel bad when you die a lot in these games, because they're tough. Well, that is good to know. I still hate dying, but it's good to know. Yeah, nobody <laughs> likes nobody likes dying. One we should totally play, and I think we'll have you play it, is uh, Mega Man X8. Okay. It's actually uh, ex in this exact same style, but it was a PS2 game. And uh, there's more playable characters, like you can play Zero and you can play fucking Axel, but... Nobody plays this fucking Axel. <laughs> um, I'm sensing some hostility here. My fucking fuck Axel. <laughs> I do not like Axel very much. But he's actually really good in that game. And there's a lot of parts that are a lot easier if you use him. Anyway. Interesting. It's in this exact same style. And uh, it's actually... A lot of people don't know about it much. And there's a very good PC port of it. So we'll go ahead and play that. Okay. We'll have Sounds you play good. It. Sounds good. So look forward to that, everybody. Yeah, I'm just hoping I don't get to the point where you're so frustrated with me sucking at it so much that <laughs> rip the control out of my cold, dead fingers. This isn't something we're going to do for a while. I'm going to wait until you at least beat Mega Man X on Super Cause, Nintendo. Because, you know, we'll, I'll be laying in a pool of blood after you've bludgeoned me with the <laughs> controller. If you, I mean, if we're playing Mega Man X, then I just see you sucking at it. I will be... I'll be pretty, like... <sighs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's like when you want your kid to succeed at something, but they're just terrible at it. Yeah. It's pretty much what it is, except Mega Man X is your baby, not me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like, you're playing my baby terribly. Fucking, so on Reddit, it, got, I, it was today and yesterday, I saw this post. It was, um... I think, like, my five-year-old is playing this game, and it's becoming incredibly frustrating <laughs> to watch. And uh, it was Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, it was Mario Kart Wii. And uh, they were in last place, and everybody else finished with the time of about four minutes. They finished with the time of 12 minutes. Oh, man. And it's like, oh, I can relate to that so much. Anytime <laughs> we have to let Aerie play with us. Oh, that's My sad. niece. That's so <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's it's like... No, but I can understand that, though, I mean... They're fucking pinballing yeah. from left and right on the edges Please of the stage. Please tell me I told you the action figure story. Uh, I don't think so. It was, I read it online, some guy was talking, he's like, So, had my little, you know, niece and nephew over, and we were playing with my action figures, because I have some that, you know, I don't collect, that I'm okay with them touching. <laughs> and he's like, and it was really hard to play with these children and not just slap them and scream at them, because freaking... They had Robin beating Superman. <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> oh. I was just laughing to myself like, man, I, I can relate. I really can. I can relate. It's just like, but they're kids. You gotta remember, they're kids. They don't know any better. They didn't listen. They don't know. Unless they were our kids, they would know. Oh well, yeah, they were our kids, they would know. <laughs> but still though, it was so funny just to read to the bottom of that story and see that line. It's like, dude... Yes. Honestly, though, it could be... Fucking, there are so many adults these days who think that Batman would win a fight against Superman. It's just like bullfucking shit. I don't know if I've heard anyone say hands down, but I've heard people say that in situations he could win. <sighs> yeah. I still oh. don't agree with that. But... I mean, that's true, but people are acting like just like in any... Any sort of fight that just like Batman is better than Superman, and it's like bullshit. <laughs> he could fucking be 
Like, standing on the moon, look at Earth, send a fucking laser blast with his eyes down to Earth and kill Bruce, wherever exactly. he is on Earth. Okay, people, I know Batman's awesome, I love him too, like... Oh, I love Batman too, it's just... Like, okay, Batman's awesome, but let's be completely serious. He literally is a human that can fight well, versus a super person Mm -hmm. from another planet. And don't be giving me that shit that he's smarter than Superman, he's really not. Superman is smarter, he just lets him get away with it because he knows it would hurt his feelings. There's fucking panels of Superman, uh, like, looking at... X-Ray looking into some of Bruce's inventions and being like, oh, I have found a way to make this about 120% more efficient, but I won't tell him because it would hurt his bad ego. (laughs) So, yeah, there you go, people. Let's be completely serious. Batman's not gonna beat Superman. It's like, out of ten fights, two of them would go to Batman, eight of them would go to Superman. That's that's, fair. That's That's covering a gamut of, uh, like, different scenarios. God damn it. This is an original model PSP. Completely original model. They don't have those menus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's the way I would do it. 8 to 10. 8, to, eight and 10. I can roll with that. I can roll with that. If you've ever seen that college humor video where Superman meets Batman, they kind of explain it right then and there. So I'm pretty sure I pointed this out to you, even though I completely whipped his ass, but even though I didn't have his weakness, I went there first. One, to get Storm Tornado, because it's a great freaking weapon. Right. And two, because it actually makes this stage a little bit easier. Gotcha. Still like that logo. That's kind of a cool logo. It is. That's Sigma's logo, too, but it's the bad one. Gotcha. Did we ever look up Anubis? No, but... You can see his plane in the background. Isn't that cool? I know, right? So we whip out the Storm Tornado, kill frickin' everything with it. It's that good, huh? It really is. Oh, that's right, I rem- Uh, yeah, this... Yes, the Blinking Lights episode. Mm-hmm. In our infinite wisdom on our original model PSP, we forgot to, uh... I think we didn't forget to record, it just didn't work. For whatever reason, yeah, that's like it, right. we tried uh, testing it just right before and it didn't work again, and uh, we have no idea why. So I actually got to the point where we were in the beginning of that video and we're re-recording them here. Thankfully, I think it'll actually turn out a little better because we were tired as fuck. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> For those but other now that episodes. I've got an old Red Bull in me, you know, I'm uh, a little Red Bull feeling feeling a little better, feeling feel a little better with that Red Bull, a little, a little more awake this time. And I had a, a liter of cola. That cola being Mountain Dew. Which has the most caffeine. Ah! I believe it. Fun fact about Mountain Dew. Supposedly it destroys your sperm count. Dead serious. I have no idea why. but Oh does. no, I've heard that story a million times. And I'm still just like, does it really? Does it though? It's just like, I mean... That's too bad and everything, but it's like, who the fuck cares? Unless you're trying to get pregnant with your lady. And if that's the case, fucking spend a few months without Mountain Dew, boning your lady, and I think you're fine. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, exactly. It's not like it does ir- uh, irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Thank you, Ian. You're welcome. Um, it just kind of fucks you for a little bit. Though I will admit, when I first heard that news, I kind of backed off for a bit, because I was like, whoa, seriously, that's damaging? Wow, okay. No, it's... I think it's the caffeine content or something. Oh, possibly. Or it's... uh, Mountain Dew is uh, illegal in, like, Europe because it has that yellow dye in it Mm, that is known to be uh, carcinogen or whatever. It does fucking something to you. So, see, that might be it right there. That's probably it. So you're not going to climb up and get the doom hickey? I could. Well, actually, I couldn't right now. You actually need the uh, a weapon to get that. Oh. If I remember right, in the original one, you could actually just dash jump up there. It takes forever, but you can do it. Right. But in this one, you have to use the weapon. God damn it, fuck you. That makes sense. See, like that turtle would normally take me forever to kill. One shot with the storm tornado. See ya. Interesting. Yep. One of the strongest weapons out of any game. It's the equivalent to, like, the uh, spread shot in Contra. 
Okay. In terms of like usefulness, not function. Ah! Hi, Bleach! Oh, seriously? Like, what the heck? Yeah, we got used to that darkness. Ah, uh, this is one of the most challenging bosses of any video game ever. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this guy. I'll just be sitting here on the ropes the entire time. You all will have to watch my glorious triumph of, uh... What the fuck is it? Spark Mandrill? This is, this is gonna be something, I tell ya. Oh, shit. Challenging fight. Oh, fuck. Can I beat him? Oh, I don't know. This is close. It's fucking close. I don't know. Oh, he's making a comeback. Oh. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> you gotta tell that monkey to chill. <laughs> I put uh. that monkey on ice. <laughs> oh! oh! There you go. There mm -hmm. you go. That is one thing I will criticize about this game. The uh, the weaknesses are too effective. Uh, I just fucking destroyed that guy. Yeah. In the old Mega Man games, even if you had their weakness, you had to be on your game. Gotcha. In this guy, you, you saw me fucking just, like, screw around yes. with him. I was shooting yes. it off the wall and everything. Oh, yeah. Couldn't get away with that. Oh. Uh, but you owned him. I fucking blazed through those guys. I was planning on doing two bosses per episode. We've got, like, four minutes left. Do you think we should just call it? We could just call it a short episode. Why yeah, not? we'll just call it. All, All right. right. We'll see you guys next time right. for the next two bosses. Woohoo!